Hello and welcome to Creativity TV. On this week's show, we are joined by Joey Burdett again. Hello, Joey. Hello. hello. Um, right, this looks fabulous, what you're going to show us today. You've got a beautiful bag charm to show us. Yeah. And Joey's also made me this beautiful, I say me, but she's actually <laughs> made it to show you, uh, this beautiful bracelet here. Um, this just looks stunning. So what I've done is I've used the double link bronze chain. So if you just get a jump ring, a biggish jump ring. Okay. And open this. When you open a jump ring, always open. Like that. Right, okay. If you open it the other way, it puts stress here and it can break. Right, so you okay. always must. So if we now put that on there, and put all the links of chain on there. And then get your pliers. Okay. Grab and then it. Close it. Yeah. Just wiggle it to make sure you've got them butt up. Right, okay. So just wiggle it. That's perfect. That's fine now. So you can see there we've got the beginnings ah, of the bag right, charm. Okay. And then for the top. A jump ring again. So open the same. Yep. And then I've put a black lobster claw. But you could put whatever binding you wanted onto here. Put that into there. Grab this and wiggle till it's ah, butt up. Oh, okay, yep. So there's the start of the bag oh, charm. So you can fasten it. And what was that called? A lobster. This is a lobster claw. That's just a, the ah, name of the fastener. Oh, right, okay. But you could use, uh, there's bolt rings, which is just a round one, but that's called right. a lobster claw. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was being a bit technical there. <laughs> so if we wanted to put something like this, because obviously this would be lovely on a bag charm. Wouldn't a key. it? Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Uh, so all the techniques are so simple, it's just repetitive. Open your jump ring, put your key on. Yeah. I want this on the longest one, so if we just let it all, that's the longest one there. Just put that on. When I make, when I go out and show jewellery, everyone says it's far more simple than they imagined. Well, I've never made jewellery at all, and I've always been keen to have a go at it, but I always thought, oh no might start with making some bag charms for my sister and my mum, actually. <laughs> the other thing that I do, say if I'm going to add a bead, sometimes I'll use, this is called an eye pin. Right, okay. Um, and it's obviously got an eye there, so that's how you yeah. remember that's an eye pin. Yeah. Sometimes I'll use these instead of a head pin, because if we put this onto here, and then cut this pin down, we're going to do the same technique as we've done before. Yeah. And then we're going to turn a loop. So make sure that's not sticking out. Turn and turn until it's butt up. Yeah. So there we have a loop. Yeah. Now when we attach this onto the chain, that loop just adds a little bit more decoration on the other Yeah, end. no, that's right. And I suppose you could always just keep adding something to it as well, couldn't yeah. you? <laughs> I mean, we could. I'll show you a different technique where we will do that. So let's use this bead this time. And we'll use an eye pin again. So we'll put the, the bead on the eye pin. Yeah. We'll use a cap because I love caps. <laughs> so ah, that just yeah. finishes that off. So I'm cutting this. It's approximately a centimetre, but you'll get used to this. It's really difficult to say because it depends how big you do your loops. Yeah. Um, so it's quite a difficult thing for me to tell you, really. So just brush that, turn it over, turn it over again. So yeah. that's butt up there now, so that's met there. But yeah. that is now oh, that way. That. Yeah, oh, right, okay. So if we want to tilt it, get the pliers in this corner and just bring it up. Ah, oh, okay. So if we're making earrings and we didn't can, bring that up, yeah. it wouldn't lie properly, so now it will. What I'm going to do now is use this loop here in the bottom. Yeah. So I'm going to open it. And then we've got some fine chain here. 
So what I'm going to do is add some chain. So I'm just going to cut it down. Just cut about three pieces. So what we'll do now is loop these into this. So all we're doing now, we've put those in there. So now we've made a different ah, little element yeah. using the loop, but we don't have to. Yeah. So when we've done this, we go back to the loop we made at the top. Yeah. Open it. Yeah. And put it wherever we want on this. So now it's just a matter of making these individual little elements and just putting them on there. Fantastic. That's beautiful and you can just add to it, you can do what you want to it and then you'll get something like this that you made earlier, which is beautiful. All the shiny, you've got tiny little pieces on here as well. And all your little odd pieces, it doesn't have to be the same. You know, like if you're making a necklace, normally you would make it so it matches. Yeah. And like your bracelet to a degree, because it's round, Yeah. it doesn't have to be a specific pattern. Yeah. You don't have to have five of the same beads, or even three, it can be really random. Right, okay, so, yeah. yeah it's quite I would nice. love to see how you attach the, are you able to show us how you attach the clasp? Yeah. How you do this clasp on a bracelet? So we will. Pretend. So we've basically used the leftover chain that yeah. you've done on your bag charm and you've added, as you've shown us, um, added the little stones, beads and the bead beads, pattern. sorry, yep. And we've I added actually those. used the eye pins there yeah. to add decoration. Yeah. So what you would do is the same technique again, yeah. get a jump ring. A jump ring is a loop of wire with a, a split in it. Right, okay. Yeah. Open it. Put both of those links in, because your chain was made with this double link. Yeah. And then we put one end of the clasp in. And then the same technique as we did before. Just grab that. Make sure you do this wiggly thing to make sure that that's perfectly met. Yeah. You don't want it crossing over. Yeah. Yeah. So that's... How we attach. Oh, okay, and then you'll just add the other section to the other end. Exactly the same, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today, Joey. And I don't know about you, but I'm really excited about having a go with the uh, bag charm. And I love seeing what you make. So take a photo, send me an email at tv at docrafts.com and tell me what you've been up to as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. Happy crafting. <laughs>